Hey, this is Josh from Solosis, and I want you to put your horns up. We're right outside the Rosan Ballroom, as you can see behind. Above us, Lamaga was in town today with Haybreed, with Inflames, and of course with Silos. I'm here with Josh from Silosis. How are you, man? Uh, a bit cold, but good, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad, man. Right? You're kind of used to it. No, it is all right. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It was the crowd reaction tonight? What do you expect from New York? Because I know last time you played the studio, so it was like a part of the New York crowd. But you tonight you had like a full room by the time you went on. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, one of the best shows of the tour so far. Yeah, really good. Um, we didn't necessarily have any expectations other than what Chris from Lamb of told us. He was like, this show is going to be insane. So we're like, yeah, okay. And it was, yeah. So <laughs> we kind of knew what to expect because he told us. No, and it's cool because my first reaction when I saw you guys at the studio at Webster Hall, which is a great room, but it's small, of course. It was like, I want to see that band in a proper stage with lighting, with a great sound system. With, uh, with a full lineup, because we were only a three piece. When I, I, I remember wrist. you went through, through band changes right there. And I no, no, he broke his wrist that day, so like, he's back with us, but yeah. <laughs> That's right, That's and right. you play all these parts. I try to, yeah, it was weird, yeah. So uh, let me ask you something. Obviously, all these three bands have been doing this for a while. What have you learned so far during this tour that before, I mean, you're always learning, but what, what did you pick up from these guys? Because they're all, like, obviously extremely professional. Um, I don't know. I mean, they are already professional. All the crew's been really cool to us, but we've been touring for quite a long time now, so we kind of know what to expect or, like, I, I'd say, like, just, you know, just being really humble. Like, all their crew's really cool. And all the band have been really cool and like really, really went out of their way to like make us feel at home and stuff. So if anything, it'd just be like, you know, stay humble and try like we try and help out bands like back in the UK when we can. We take out bands that we're fans of uh, and that's what they've done. So like, yeah, just I guess staying humble and being helpful and support other bands that need a hand coming up. Right, it's very important not only to have the musical skills, but definitely the mentality to, you know, especially when you're, as you said, touring so much, you have to have the right mentality as a band because otherwise you'll burn out real fast. Yeah, well, it's, I'm, I mainly just mean in terms of like being professional, like what's expected of you, especially when you're like the first band on, you, you have to kind of stay out people's way with your equipment, with whatever, like be on time and everything. Uh, if it's not your show, like, so we've, we've come to expect that. So we kind of keep our heads down. Unless it's people have come up to us and be like, do you want a drink? It's time to party. We'll be like, yeah, good, all right. right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the tour is almost finished. Of course, New York City was a great show, but other crowds that maybe you guys had not played before or a crowd that just kind of stood out for you guys that, you know? Um, I can't think of any that we hadn't played that weren't, uh, that were great, but the ones that we have done that we did last time was Texas, which was amazing. Oh, Milwaukee, that, we had never played there, and that was insane. That was huge. That was like thousands of people, insane venue, haunted venue, apparently. Still don't know if I believe in ghosts, but our drummer took this picture on his, like of this elevator with like this tiny little screen on it. And then we look back at the picture and there's just a skull in the middle. It was like, oh, but yeah, I, I'm on the fence. I don't believe in paranormal stuff, I don't think, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, back to your question. Uh, Milwaukee, probably up there. And what's in the agenda for you guys? A headline tour in the UK in end of January, which is really small because the UK is tiny. We're just doing the major cities. And then we're going to Soundwave in Australia, which is our first time there. So that'll be amazing, hopefully. But yeah, we have really high expectations because everyone that we know that's done the festival or just been to Australia is just like, this is the best ever. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I was just going to ask you, any markets that you haven't played that you really obviously you just said Australia but which other markets are you like really stoked and I think this tour is going to open those doors to be like hey we can go to that market now yeah hopefully uh can can Canada <laughs> Canada <laughs> sorry I do know what it's called uh Canada uh it seems like we've got a following over there and like people come travel to these shows or like the last tour from Canada to see us so like it seems like we've got uh, a following there but we just haven't had the offer like we have to get the offers and the money to, to go over there. Otherwise, we'd be there in a heartbeat. So Canada, uh, Japan, we've never been. That'd be really cool as an experience. Or South America and stuff. So, yeah. You definitely have the music. I mean, if anybody's watching right now, if they haven't... Fucking slayed it tonight. Fucking! 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 I agree, I agree. I'd say Slayer over us, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because I was about to say that, like, damn, the fans are definitely kind of picking up to what you guys are doing. 
yeah, it, well, it seems like it. That was cool. So yeah, it's cool. It's, it's really, uh, we, we don't know what to expect. The first time we came, we still don't know what to expect coming back because it was a whole year of like not being here and like first tour back and it's a bigger tour and uh yeah it seems to steadily be progressing like i know that our cd sales over here are really good like we're like wow so yeah it's good and as i said yeah obviously the music is there for anybody watching you saw the fans just now and what do you think is setting silos apart from you know the newer generation of bands because i mean let's compare let's say lama got already veterans for us because we grew up listening to them you guys have been doing it for a while but it's still one of the young blood bands not young in you know right. Well, I'd like to be young in that way as well, but yeah. It's not a bad thing. But what separates us? Yeah. Um, don't know, really. Like, we've just been trying to keep our heads down, like, in terms of ignoring every other trend that's gone on. Um, you know, we don't downtune, we don't play breakdowns, we don't, I don't know. We, yeah, we just, you know, had a clear goal of what you want to do and just try and be the best band possible in our eyes. Like, we're, we're trying to write, the mu like, the best music or the music you want to hear. Not necessarily saying that I listen to my own band or anything, but if you aim to just be as good as you can, as opposed to like trying to fit in or just trying to like appeal to this crowd or appeal to that crowd, then yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it'll pay off if you just keep at it. I don't know. I'm not really one for like blowing our own trumpets, but like we're the best. No, 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 I, I know that. I mean, from the first time we spoke, I know how humble you guys are, and it, on and off stage and on stage, especially as I say, seeing you guys like perform in the right environment with it because you have a big sound you know what i'm saying so it definitely works and josh man before we get out of here let's talk about a little bit about what the whole package and what i mean what it represents for heavy music today you know what i mean because there's it's a very tough business as you know especially doing this day in and day out and it's very hard to just get anyone in the room so yeah. let's talk a little bit about that how this package is kind of contributing to the entire scene um i don't know well i guess you've got lamb of god to thank for you know, headlining and putting it together. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Like we're really privileged. Like Chris got us the tour. Like he's a big fan of the band. He got us. Yeah, it's insane. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Um, so we've got us who are like represent a new upcoming band, I guess. Who, yeah, I don't know. Who are getting like just our first proper bit of exposure out here. Then Haybreed, who've been doing like hardcore, maybe not metalcore in the way that most people think of metalcore, but I mean they have the Slayer influence, so they they are. Um, who, you know, and Lamb of God had some sort of breakdowny parts which cross over to Hatebreed and in Flames are like more on the melodic side, like we have a lot of melodic stuff. So it kind of like covers everything in heavy music, I think, I guess. Or um, maybe not, uh, you know, it, there aren't any like crabcore bands or whatever, but that's great for me, so <laughs> it's only a good thing. <laughs> All right, brother, before we get out of here, because I know you're cold and you got to go back, take care of business, let's send a shout out to all the fans of Silosis out there. Thank you very much for all the support. Uh, it, yeah, we didn't realize that we had any fans in America, so thank you. And everyone back home, we'll see you soon. And remember, Silosis from the UK. And again, brother, best of luck with the rest of the tour and beyond, man. And we'll see you soon. I hope so, yeah. Hopefully we'll be back sometime next year. I don't know when, but we will. Yeah, it will happen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Carilla wants to know if we're going to have to party. <laughs> Who said what? Johnny wants to know if there's an after party. Hold on a second. You always like very critical of the shows. How was the show tonight? It was alright. <laughs> no, it was fucking amazing. It was so. Oh my god, it was definitely worth the wait. Everybody needs to see the phone. What phone?